Welcome back to my channel. So today is Saturday. So lalabas kami ni Martin. And it's been a while since my last vlog. Kasi tinatry ko mas gumawa ng mga short form content. So mga reels, TikTok videos. And ang hirap pagsabayin sa vlog. Kasi magkaiba yung format nila. Kasi pag vlog, pa horizontal. Tapos kapag yung mga short form, pa vertical. So ayun, since parang naaliwa ko gumawa ng mga reels, nakakalimutan ko na mag vlog. So yung mga videos ko, puro pa vertical. And ayaw ka naman mag-upload ng vlog na halos puro pa vertical yung video. So, ayun. So, hindi na lang ako nag-upload. Pero na-miss ko mag-vlog. So, today, yun yung priority ko. Kakain kami ni Martin ngayon sa Jajang and Jampong sa May Circle C. Nag-upload ako ng reel and ng TikTok about it. Yung Jajang and Jampong. Pero sa Antipolo. Kasi yun yung na-try namin. Tapos, sobrang nagustuhan namin ang sarap ng food. So, nung nalaman ko na meron din silang branch sa Quezon City sa my Congressional Avenue which is near our place. So, sabi ko kay Martin, try din natin para alam natin kung same ba yung quality. Martin's here. Oh, sisilipin ka ni Tyler. Tyler! 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 Excited siya makita si Martin pero mamaya na sila maglalaro. <laughs> Hello, sige dad. Yay! Sabi ni Martin, parang excited ako kumalas kasi first time na walang delays. Oh, and like, went right inside a car. Parang gutom na gutom ka na. <laughs> kasi naman, 2.20 na. <laughs> Let's go. Excited na ako kumain. Kagabi ko pag gusto kumain ng jajang meal. <laughs> So normally, si Den meron siya pang wait, I have to do this, I have to do that. This time, no. Like, nasa gate Straight na Straight to the car. Parang <laughs> <laughs> nagpa-park pa lang ako, she's already opening her gate. <laughs> Excited na ako kumain. And, ano na to eh, late na compared to yung usual na alis Lunchtime. namin ni Martin niya pag Saturdays. Yeah. So, parang kanina pa ako naghihintay. <laughs> We're here, dito siya sa my congressional. We're here! So, in order namin ngayon, full chajangmyeon. Chajangmyeon din siya, pero spicy version. Kasi, sinin Martin ang spicy. Tapos, bibigyan pa daw siya ng extra na chili. Para kung gusto pa niyang mas spicy. And then, ang katerno nun, yung mantu tang suyuk. So, yung tang suyuk, sweet and sour siya. Na usually pork talaga, pero meron silang version na mantu yung ginamit instead of bread and pork. So, usually magkaterno talaga yun. Chajang and tang suyuk. Ito yung order namin, bull chajang myon. So, it's also chajang myon, pero tatlo yung sili dun sa illustration niya. So, super spicy. Tapos binigyan pa si Martin ng extra na sili. Kung gusto pa daw niya ng mas spicy. Tapos pwede pa daw tagtagan niya. The side dish, kimchi and danmuji na refillable. Ito yung tangsu sauce mandu. So, tangsu yung sauce. So, sweet and sour. Pero instead of breaded pork, mandu siya or dumplings. Yeah, pinapa mix ko kay Martin. Exciting. Spice challenge. Sana hayanin ko yung spiciness. Let's go out in the sun. Give me what's so. Rhythm and mark your back. Rhythm and match up. Fly with the wind. I'm gonna get it done. Go not get you more than go. So that I got you. Time after time, 사랑을 몰라. My duty no more. My love. I'm gonna get you more than I can. I'm gonna get you more than I can. Spicy, sir. But tolerable, man. Kaya. Pero feeling ko kung hindi ka mahilig sa spicy, masyari siyang spicy. 
very nakakasarap yung ang ang niya. It has a sweet and savory flavor. So the sauce is made of black meat paste and pork and vegetables. So usually vegetables, um, onions, and then cabbage. Tapos may mga diced pork siya. And then a serve ng noodles kasi chewy yung noodles. Hindi siya soggy. Let's go and get you inside. Alright, this feels good. You and I. Let's go and get the fruit cocktail. Ayano, my cherry, eto pear, my carrots, my onion and fruits. Crunchy pa yung dumplings kahit na may sauce na siya. Tapos okay yung balance ng sweetness and sourness. Like walang nagoverpower di siya. Sobrang acid di siya. Sobrang well balanced. Flavors. Hey guys, we're done eating and we can confirm na same yung quality nung nung jajang and jambong dito sa nandun sa Antipolo. Anyway, I'm just gonna insert my TikTok video para alam niyo experience namin dun sa Antipolo brand. Nagkikrave din ba kayo ng Korean food tuwing nanonood ng K-drama? Ang tagal ko nang naghahanap ng restaurant na nagsiserve ng Korean food na hindi samgyopsal or street food. So buti na lang nahanap namin tong jajang and jambong sa Antipolo. They gave us free hot tea na maraming health benefits. We ordered their best seller which is the jajang. May kasama na rin siyang side dishes na kimchi and danmuji or pickled radish. It's noodles with a sauce made out of black bean paste, pork, and veggies. Kailangan nyo siyang haluin mabuti kasi malapot yung sauce and mahaba yung noodles. Kaya binigyan nila kami ng good thing para you can cut it. And special talaga yung noodles nila kasi it's handmade. Sweet and savory yung flavor niya and sobrang sarap. The noodles were so chewy, not soggy at all. And katerno talaga niya yung dan muji to contrast the richness of the sauce. Nakatry na ako ng jajang from other restaurants and this is definitely the best. Parang feeling nyo legit talaga. Ganito yung kinakain nila sa mga k-drama. Nakakakilig. We also ordered jampong which is a spicy seafood noodle dish. And my real seafood talaga siya na shrimp, squid, crabs, and mussels. It has a very deep seafood flavor. And it's perfect for those who love spicy food. Same yung noodles, so chewy din, and walang sinabi yung instant noodles na jampong dito. And sure kayo na authentic yung food, kasi Korean talaga yung owner. We met him, he was so friendly, and siya talaga yung nag-entertain sa amin. Best. Nice to see you. <laughs> Kung taga Quezon City kayo, or you know, if you're near to this Quezon City branch, so dito na lang kayo pumunta. Bull Jajang is the best. And sobrang nagustuhan ni Martin yung pronounce natin parang Korean. Sa Korean kasi, yung B, para siyang B. B and B. It's like an in-between. So it's like pull. Pull jajang. Pull. Yeah. Pull jajang. It's like it's not a B, it's not a P. It's in-between. Kaya pull dog. Parang ganun. Pull. Pull jajang. Pull jajang. Pull jajang. Pull jajang. Pull. Pull. I just said pull three times. Now we're on our way to Starbucks. Kasi dito sa may congressional extension, may bagong nagbukas na Starbucks sa Greystone building. So yun, kung familiar kayo sa area na to, malapit siya sa Miranila, sa Cherapura, so meron ng Starbucks doon. So, we're gonna check it out. Para siyang mansion. <laughs> so, when I saw it, it's so new and it looks like a mansion. Parang bahay na malaki lang. Uh -uh. And you'll see it later. So, it's, in, I mean, it's the same products anyway, but it's just interesting to walk in and see what's inside. By the way, kung hindi kayo sanay talaga sa spicy, huwag yung orderin yung pulja dyang. Kasi, na feel ko na siya sa chan ko. <laughs> like, kanina pa kami tapos kumain. Pero na feel ko parang yung anghang sa chan ko. Pero, kinaya ko siya. Like, hindi naman siya yung painful sa bibig or yung ganon. Na parang, na parang pull duck. Ayan o, di ba? Yung, yung samyang bull duck. Samyang pull duck. Paano pag American? Paano pag American? Bull jajang. <laughs> bull jajang. <laughs> jajang. Bull jajang. <laughs> Jajang me on. Jajang me on. Jam pong. Jam pong. Anyway, okay. So, sabi ko kay Martin, parang halang ko ng something bready. Like a pastry sa Starbucks just to help soak up the spiciness in my tummy. And there was one time, nandun kami kala Ate Kat. 
and si Kuya Mike as a gift he had different types of spices and one of the spices was called Carolina Reaper and you know Carolina Reaper right so then had one drop of it just one drop on a cracker and the next day what, what happened to you the next day I got acid <laughs> <laughs> no I brought acidity on the next day so run sa ng chan ko <laughs> so yon so palagi kapag spicy kaya ng bibig ko pero hindi kaya ng chan ko yung problem ko like may likha ko sa spicy pero for sure sa sakit yung chan ko this is it yan Greystone para siyang bahay tapos yung Starbucks nandun sa ground floor and then ito yung parking And daming extra chairs. <laughs> so many chairs. <laughs> Dalawa lang naman kami. This is my cinnamon Danish. Martin and I had soy latte, pero yung akin merong sugar free salted caramel syrup, tas yung kay Martin vanilla syrup. Kasi hindi namin alam which is which. Pero yung isa may red stinger, so te taste ko to. Kung ito ba yung salted caramel. I think that's not caramel. Oh no, this salted caramel. Taste it. It's more vanilla. I'm kind of shy. I don't look it. I saw the chance and I took it. Can I just say, I'm here for my content creators. Because it's like, I want to just drink coffee, I want to just eat ice cream, but I need a video first. So thank you to my viewers of my videos. I hope you enjoyed my videos. Thank you for appreciating them. Because it's like, 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 Kapag sinasabi ng mga tao na, oh, I watch your vlogs, ganun, or pag nila-like nila yung mga videos ko, ganun, so yun. Kasi I enjoy it naman, pero lalo lang ngayon because of yun, yung, yung difference ng vlog at saka ng short form videos na isang vertical, isang horizontal. So parang I have to film everything twice, unlike dati isang video. So there, okay, we're gonna enjoy this now. Oh, and maganda pala dito sa Grace too. It's nice here. Do you, do you like it here? Yeah, very spacious. Oh, it's spacious compared to other Starbucks branches. Yeah. Explain to them the new syrup system of Starbucks. Kasi si Martin yung nag-introduce sa akin din. So basically, you order a cup of coffee. Uh, let's say, for example, cafe latte, and then you can add a syrup in there. So there are only four syrups that you can choose from that you can um, change the sweetness of your syrup. So there's vanilla, salted caramel, hazelnut, and caramel. Caramel, right? And then out of the four, so let's say you've chosen, let's say, for example, hazelnut. Right, and then you can choose not sweet, um, the regular one, and the uh, mild. This is the one I It's salted caramel, not sweet. Mine is vanilla, not sweet. It's a bit sweet. You can use the sugar, but you like the flavor, so you can go for that option. So it's kind of like Starbucks way of saying, I also have sugar levels. Oh, oh. papa kamil din ng Starbucks, may sugar level na sila.
Hey guys, so it's the next day. Kakagaling ang namin ng daddy ko from the grocery. Let's do like a story time mukbang. So kahapon as you saw in the vlog, Martin and I ate a jajang and jampong. Tapos nung nandun kami, gusto ko talaga umorder ng beef bulgogi. Kaso malaki yung serving nila. Kapag inorder ko yun, hindi yung makakainin ni Martin. So parang nanghinayang ako kasi 380 pesos din yung beef bulgogi nila. Tapos kung ako lang naman yung kakain. So hindi na ako umorder. After that, as in kagabi until today, I've just been craving beef bulgogi. Tapos naisip ko na na umorder sa Happy Leaf. Pero sabi ko hindi, huwag na. Try na lang muna sa grocery. Nung nasa grocery, may nakita ko doon na naka-ready mix na na Korean beef. Bumili ako ng konti, like one-fourth kilo lang. Tapos yun dapat yung ilalunch ko ngayon. And then nung tinikman ko, ang pangit ng lasa. <laughs> Puro tamis lang siya! So sabi ni Daryl, alam mo, umorder ka na lang kasi sa Happy Leaf. So ito na yun. Ta-da! Sabi ni Daryl, wag mo na ipagpilitan yung pangit na lasa na bulgogi na yan. So, ito. So, I ordered from Happily. Palagi kami yung order sa Happily, pero first time ko order yung bulgogi nila. And, ito yung ano na, with rice na siya. Meron din kasi sila nung party tray. Oh my God, ang ganda ng itsura. I mean, ganda yung na-imagine ko, hindi yung nabili ko sa grocery. Tapos yung sa grocery pa, niremechoan ko pa, like, hinugasan ko siya. Kasi hindi ko talaga siya makain, hinugasan ko. Tapos tinimplan ko ulit, pero sumiksik na yung lasa nung marinade nila. Tanan, ito siya. Happy leaf beef bulgogi tapos may veggies din siya and may kasamang rice. Tapos may init pa siya kaya nakakatakam kainin. Moral of the story, pag may kinikrave kayo, bilhin niyo na yung gusto niyo ta. <laughs> Para hindi masaya. Ko in order ko na sana to, hindi hindi nasayang yung binili ko sa grocery. Sana madali siyang kagatin kundi nakakahiya. <laughs> Pangit sa video. Mmm. Guys, ang layo ng lasa. Ang layo ng lasa doon sa nabili ko sa grocery. Mmm! So, ito, sweet and salty siya. Pero, hindi overpowering yung pagka-sweet. Yung doon sa grocery kasi, para siyang beef barbecue. Ano yung Pinoy barbecue? Na pork barbecue, ganun. Ganun yung tamis niya. Tapos, gawin yung beef. Tapos, crunchy pa yung veggies niya. Dito pa yung sa Tyler. Say hello to your fans. Siyempre, ang habol niya yung bulgogi. Hindi <laughs> ako. Hi! Hi, Pumpkin! Hi, Pinot! Napanood ko kayo sa Zambales. Anyway, parang hindi naman pala siya na yung story time mukba kasi noon na yung story. Meron din siyang mushrooms. Hindi ganun karami yung beef nito. Sa akin, okay lang kasi may lig naman ako sa veggies. Pero kung carnivorous kayo, baka medyo feeling nyo sana mas marami yung beef. Normally, hindi talaga kami bumibili nung mga pre-marinated na sa grocery. I should have stuck to my value system. <laughs> I should have stuck to my ways na hindi... Ako, ayaw na ayaw ko kasi talaga yung pagkain na hindi masarap. One, nanginayang ako sa pera. And two, nanginayang ako na ayaw ko siya kainin kasi wasted calories siya for me. <laughs> yung parang sana yung kinain ko na lang yung natuwa talaga ako. So yun, kung nagkana pa yun yung bulgogi sa grab, and if you have happy day, okay siya. Paubos ko na puro sauce na to. Nilipat ko na dito yung meat and veggies. So yan, meron siyang carrots, onion, meron ding bell pepper, cabbage, and mushrooms. Sarap niya sa hot rice. Try na talaga siya sa plain rice kasi matamis yung bulgogi. So, kailangan plain rice na. Mas gusto ko yung rice na hindi nalagyan ng sauce. That's it for mukbang. Siyempre, tinatarget ni Tyler yung bulgogi. Eh. That's it for mukbang. Thank you for watching. Sabi niya, anong 